Thank you, Dr. Smith. We appreciate you uh, stepping in on very short notice uh, to help our campus, and thank you for everything you've done over the years for our campus. The mission at the University of Nebraska at Kearney is to provide a tremendous undergraduate experience, and we do that every day. Uh, the vast majority of funds that we want to raise through the campaign for Nebraska uh, will go to student scholarships and to faculty support. As I look around this room this morning, most everyone here got their start as an undergraduate student. We shouldn't take that for granted. That is the foundation, and that's the basis for success. And I think we have uh, a commitment that we want to stay focused on students and we want to stay focused on their undergraduate start and preparing them for the rest of their life. We have a responsibility there. We have a responsibility to the taxpayers. We have a responsibility to the state to give as many students that opportunity as we can. And that's the focus of our campus on this campaign. We'd like to have the resources to give as many Nebraskans the opportunity, regardless of their income, regardless of their background, to attend and successfully complete college. You know, sometimes uh, students are confined by what someone tells them they can do, or perhaps worse yet, what they can't do. And our goal as educators is to help each one of those students to realize the unlimited possibilities they have in reaching their goals and goals they may not even know that are available to them. At the University of Nebraska at Kearney, we want to provide that environment to have them attend, to understand, and to realize who they are what their potential is, and those potentials really are unlimited. These are the future leaders of Nebraska, and they're our future citizens. Uh, the state of Nebraska has been very good. They've provided a great amount of resources to the university system, and our campus in particular, but there's a limit to what the state can do. And the next level is really dependent upon those people who want to invest in Nebraska, who want to invest in students, there are people who want to pay back for the start that they got. They want to be a friend of the university and say thank you, and they want the state of Nebraska to move forward into the future. With their support, their gifts, and their investment, they can give students a better start than they had to be even more successful. The state of Nebraska is in great shape with investments in the future, and particularly the University of Nebraska. That's the goals we have for our campus and the goals for this campaign. Thank you very much. Thank you all. Never underestimate the generosity of Nebraskans. <clears throat> In 2005, this team of volunteers and committed administrators began this campaign to raise $1.2 billion for the future of Nebraska. I'm pleased to announce today that $642 million has been contributed towards this goal. And now it's our challenge and our hope that many other Nebraskans, alumni, and friends will get us the rest of the way there by December of 2014 when we close out this campaign. If uh, there are any questions from anyone here today, we do have, I know we've got some busy schedules and people have to, 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 to move on, but uh, we do have some a time for some questions if there are any. A uh, good question. Uh, I think what we've seen nationally is that it has been a, a challenge uh, for all charities, and uh, we certainly recognize that. Uh, and we recognize that this is a bold, bold campaign, uh, considering the timing. However, uh, as I as I opened, never underestimate the generosity of Nebraskans. Uh, last fiscal year, uh, fiscal year 2008 was uh, more contributions came to the University of Nebraska from private donors than ever before. It was a record year. 2009 fiscal year, this last year, was our second best year in history. So uh, we seem to be bucking that trend a bit. Any other questions? Okay, thank you. <laughs>